Hello everyone, and this is Dr. Govind Raigar, and uh, along with me, uh, Dr. Pravin Tripathi. Hello everyone. So today with us is Dr. Shraddha, and uh, Dr. Shraddha got a beautiful rank of 122 in the recently conducted INICT examination. Many, many congratulations, Shraddha. Congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. It's an honor to be talking to my inspiration. The honor is all ours and the pleasure is all ours, Shraddha. So in this brief interview, we would try to, you know, understand how you studied and then give some points for your juniors that can be followed. So uh, Shraddha, we were just having a little discussion before we started the interview. Uh, you told that you are from GMC Chandigarh and uh, this was your first attempt. Yes. So, so when did you start your preparation uh, in an extensive manner, in a proper manner? Uh, sir, uh... During internship, I uh, used to give a maximum of four hours. More than that wasn't possible with the kind of duties we had. I finished on 31st. I didn't want to take an extension because I wanted to go all in with my preparation. So from first, I used to read 14 hours a day uh, till INI. And I attended the whole marathon, INI CT marathon. Even in subjects which I was confident that I, I could do, I still wanted to get into the habit of sitting for that long. Mm. And... Uh, it was a good revision for me. So, BTR uh, by Dr. Zainab Bora, I had attended the on offline in uh, February. And mm -hmm. uh, online, I've been seeing her videos since August last year. Mm -hmm. And I started seeing Mission 1.5 Need PG of Cerebellum since October, November, when I had relatively free postings. And I finished that in about two to three months. So, we'll talk about all of these. So you talked about Mission Need PG videos, BTR, as well as the marathon videos, right? So, in Mission Need PG 1.5, so the our aim is usually to complete everything in a live uh, format. And, and the whole idea is to give students enough information that, that covers everything, but not to bombard them with excessive information. So, so what was your experience of, you know, attending those uh, sessions? One of the good things was since it was live, it was more interactive. We could see how others are answering. We could answer. The teachers are more interactive here in this platform. I feel it's a one-to-one -one relation with each student, whether it be answering doubts or during the class. And I found it very, very conceptual. It's not loaded on uh, too much factual information, which I personally don't feel. I like things when it's conceptual and I like solving questions which are conceptual. But these exams require you to know some basic factual information also, which personally I don't like. Mm. So I found that these classes focused high on concepts. Mm. So I really enjoyed. And uh, what about the ENDs that we do after the class? Did you appear for those? Testing? I appeared for every single END possible. I used to ask permission from my JRs that please give me one hour free. I need to appear for either Zena Ma'am's test or END. Hmm. And I even if I didn't get a rank, even if I didn't, I hadn't read that subject where I used to appear, it gave me a confidence of attempting those questions. By the end of uh, preparation, I was able to do 50 questions in uh, 25 minutes. And then I used to use the remaining time to revise. In the real exam, I did it around 35 minutes and I used the 10 minutes to revise what I had marked. So you also talked about marathon. Uh, so uh, those who do not know what marathon is in cerebellum just before the exam in seven days we complete the entire thing so it's like uh, 75 or 80 hours in seven days so Shraddha, how was your experience of attending those marathon sessions it was really good even my parents started asking how do these teachers have so much energy they're <laughs> teaching continuously like they i attended that anatomy session till 3 a.m in the morning okay, my parents asked me He's still teaching i mean they were really impressed by the energy and the best part was there was no compromise on the content. Even though the hours were less, everything was covered in those hours. So I found that very good. So Shraddha, uh, what about the division into the theory part and the MCQ part? Mm -hmm. So how many MCQs you tried to practice and uh, how many, much time you devoted to your theory part? Uh, sir, I used to do the custom modules. I used to make custom modules of 10 questions each. It was easy to review. And I used to do like 10 custom modules in a day. So 100 MCQs per day. Mm -hmm. And seeing uh, based on that, seeing which subjects I was weak in, I used to alter it like a few for a few subjects and the difficulty level. The PYQs I did twice mm -hmm. of all the years till 2017. And what I was saying is all ENDs, uh, Zena Mams, every test mm -hmm. and even the small PYQ marathon like you have started recently. I, I've given every test possible. I've never missed a test. 
so did you uh, attended these latest sessions we started uh, 42 minutes 40 questions yes sir yes, i've been giving uh, since the past four days okay. nee, before so, that we also we conducted some tests uh, late night we started four days back sir nee, uh, i uh, late night but okay. she thinks she did all the tests okay. whether whether ends whether zenam ends okay. she did all of them so so ashada uh, what according to you is the recipe for success doing more and more questions or revising more and more of theory or we have to have uh, some kind of balance uh, sir uh, it has to be a balance but the main point i would like to focus on whoever is aspiring is that it's all about the concepts mm -hmm. especially for iict if you if you are high on facts and you don't have concepts they will ask the question in a twisted manner like they did this year and it will it, so it's it, the concept should be strong firstly and then you can build up by doing questions and factual information and theory So that did you have off days? So you you are saying that you studied for twelve to fourteen hours. Were there days when you struggled to study or when you struggled to motivate yourself? Yeah, actually, my last posting for the last forty five days of my internship from fifteenth Feb was surgery, and I was posted alone for twelve hours every single day. And all my other classmates, they had like lighter postings like radiology, community medicine. They were able to devote like twelve hours a day right before the exam, and I was upset because I had my most hectic posting in the end. and so then i thought that i'll get over with this from first i'll make a proper plan and then go according to that so it was very yes, difficult are you during planning, that are you, are you planning to appear for neat pg or are you planning to pick something uh, sir i'll appear i'll appear for the counseling and i'll also give neat pg i wanted medicine which i don't think i'll get at this rank but i'll appear for the counseling and also neat pg so whatever is in my favor i'll go with that So we'll meet you again in the late night PYK marathons. Yeah, I'll be giving that today also. Definitely, <laughs> <laughs> great, great. So congratulations, Shada. Thank and, you, thank uh, you so much. Say my congrats to your parents also. Really, thank you for taking our time to talk. Many thank you. Me. May God bless you. Thank you.